One aspect of healthcare and healthcare reform we've not addressed is what happens with innovation, new technology, and then as an uh, offshoot of new technology, electronic medical records. In the United States, we have the highest cancer cure rates of any country in the world. And part of this is because of innovation, new techniques, uh, the combination of medical schools working and interfacing with pharmaceutical companies, and how we can treat diseases, what new methods we have for treating diseases. And in the United States, it seems the bulk of new innovation and new treatment comes from our country. In any healthcare system that we devise, we need to make sure that we don't suppress the drive for innovation. For instance, about six weeks ago, I was listening to National Public Radio and heard um, a German medical school dean and medical student discussing what um, facilities they had. And the facilities in Germany were certainly not at the level that we have here in the United States. They were discussing getting the first arm they had to practice intravenous administration. These things are very common in the United States, also resuscitation techniques and res resuscitation dummies that we use. That's poor man's technology, but it goes far beyond that. For instance, in the department where I worked, uh, in the de Department of Ophthalmology at the University of Iowa, they have uh, un uh, discovered the genes uh, for macular degeneration, for glaucoma, uh, for other family-related eye diseases, and we would want to make sure that there was still funding available for these type of research advances. So technology, innovation are very important Although many countries around the world publish in um, medical journals that are present in the United States, we still see the bulk of new innovation and creativity coming from our country. And we'd like to continue to be the leaders in that arena. Now what about electronic medical records? Speaking of uh, technology, will that save money and will that help us deliver better care? We certainly think there can be better coordination of care with an electronic medical record. Um, and it will save a small amount of money, but mostly it will save, save lives um, because transcription errors that are made in processing doctor's orders or processing prescriptions uh, will, not, um, will not arise. So we think that there can be some savings and uh, both savings in cost and savings in lives by the mere fact that you don't get transcription errors. But as far as actual saving a lot of money for the redundancy of tests, that will be much less uh, cost savings utilizing electronic medical records than people um, advertise. The other important part about electronic medical records is who owns the record, i.e., does this record stay with you and the doctor and only get transmitted to those whom you want to share your medical information, or is all this information sent to Washington, D.C. to some big federal bureaucracy? I personally don't want my medical information sent to anybody uh, with the exception of people I think have a need to know my medical information. As a veteran, I was one of those who got my, um, uh, my VA data uh, released, and, or I had to make sure that my VA data wasn't released when a laptop was stolen and it had all, uh, a lot of veterans' information within that laptop. So we want to make sure that your medical information is, is owned by you and the doctor or you and any healthcare provider that you have, and that you can carry that information with you to any other provider, either on a disc, or a finger stick, you get the idea that you need to own your medical information and you can take that with you to any facility to which you would want to visit. So let's make sure that when we redesign healthcare in the United States, we're not forgetting about a very important aspect, which is innovation, creativity, new treatments, um, and new cures that may arise in the near future. This video was produced at the beautiful University of Iowa Medical Campus. In the background is the Carver College of Medicine and the Eckstein Research Building. I do want to let you know that in no way did the University of Iowa endorse this video or its contents, nor did they have any input into the contents of this video. Please feel free to again contact me on my blog, Facebook, and Twitter so we can continue our running dialogue and conversation about healthcare and redesigning the healthcare system in the United States. Thank you.